What is up guys, this is Creative Dwarf here and I'm back with another video and this time I'm going to show, show you how to make a um, blacksmith's house. So let's just start off with uh, taking down one block and then further down 16 more blocks, so in total will be 17. So let's just break it down and then fill it in with the nether bricks. So let's count it up, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, but that one was extra. And then further we're gonna build 6 more blocks, well, 5 more, so it'll be 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, turn right and then build, uh, place 3 more blocks, 1, 2, 3, turn left and then 9 in total, so 8 more blocks, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and then 1 more, 9. So let's just count it up again, so 7, 8, 9. Once we're done with that, we're just going to put our oak log on the left side and then fill it in with uh, dark oak logs. I realized in this video, in the beginning, I used the spruce planks and it's a mistake. It, the house will look much better if you use dark oak. So let's just finish it up with uh, building the back of the house and then just keep connecting it by placing dark oak logs and then from the porch we're gonna count three more blocks and then put an oak log so let's just go to the other side again build three more blocks and two to go back and then let's just connect the ends of the house so just keep on building Okay, I messed up a little bit. Keep on placing and then oak log should be here. And the rest of it you should just break down the dirt and then uh, put nether bricks just like so. Then just pull out the um, dark oak fences and then connect the, the outside of the perimeters. So just like so. Now once we're here we should build Ten, nine more blocks so we so we're gonna have a space for the workshop then we'll break down the dirt again and then replace them with cobblestone so once we finish with that I think we're ready to uh, start building walls well after placing doors of course so I just count it up with the center and then place one door here and then going to the other side one two three four five six seven eight since this is an even number we're gonna have to place two indoors and then replace it with more oak planks well, actually yeah let's just uh, build uh, the floor first for the floor I'm gonna use the spruce blocks once you're done with that this is what it should look like now we can proceed on to building walls so let's just uh, build three blocks high. Now let's just break this one to make distinction between the rooms. Then three more blocks up high again. So now that we're done with this, we can just fill it in with planks and uh, make walls, uh, make windows. So just proceed with two more blocks up high and then build uh, two by two windows and since this is the back we're gonna build six by two so it's one two three four five six the back of the house is gonna have a pretty clear view of, of the outside and this one we're gonna finish with two by two and the side is gonna be a little different but it's gonna start off with the same way, it's gonna be a 2x2, two two. then it should be a 3x2, so just like so, then, then it's gonna be a 2x2 two two again. 1, 2, 3, 4. And then the little room is gonna be a little different, it's gonna have 1x2 blocks uh, vertically. Here's gonna be a 3x1. So it's just like so. Then this side is gonna be three by one as well. But let's just get this 
wall first. Boom, boom, boom. So now you just replace it with the glass panes. And finish this up. And now I just proceed to the front of the house finally. So finish this up. Uh, this should be three uh, three by two, yeah. Oh no, three by one. My bad. Three by one on the side as well. Now we can just finish it up with by placing oak logs everywhere. It's an outside. Once you're done with that, it just uh, cover the entire area with uh, fences as well. Just like so, put a gate over here into the workshop and then proceed with fences. Actually, let's uh, put a glass paints over here to see how that looks. Keep doing with the fences. Actually, I don't like how 1x2 works, at least now with this wall. So let's just uh, cover this, put back the fence that I broke. And, I, and then just keep on doing the fences. Once you're done with that, just get the um, stairs and then build them on top of the fences and then do the same thing. Once you're done with that, you're gonna put two layers, you're gonna go back and then just cover it up with spruce uh, planks. And that'll be the end of the first floor. So once we're done with that, this is what it's supposed to look like. That's really after I covered everything up with uh, dark oak. Now we're ready to get onto the second floor. So let's just get the birch wood, birch log, and then skip four or three blocks, and place the fourth one from the front, and then only one walk away from the rear. So let's do the same thing three blocks away and put on the fourth one, and then just mirror the other side. Now we can place that birch log here as well and here. And now we can just get a nether bricks and then use that as to build walls. So let's just connect them here. And just like this, so. Okay, just keep messing up with building. Just not feeling used to it, you know? like this and once we're finished with that I missed, messed up again see so once we're done with that we can put the doors down just one door and then fill it up with the um, birch and it's gonna be two blocks two more blocks so it's gonna be three blocks in total let's place this one here and here so technically the second block, the second floor is going to be a little smaller than the first floor. The width and the height wise. So actually, yeah, the, the side we're going to have 2 by one windows. And let's just connect the third layer. And then proceed to the other side finish up walls and I'm gonna uh, fill them up with a glass later and just finish this up now we can proceed to windows so what can we do here we can put two and then just two uh, that doesn't look right so let's just fill this up and leave these ones here yeah this side should have a window. I'll just put one for now and then I'll figure it out later. This side of the room is definitely gonna have only one by one. Uh, then three on the other side and then let's just do the last part of the wall and proceed to make windows. This one's gonna be two, two and one. No that's not one so two one and two. And we're done with the wall. Now we will just build the fences around. Um, and now we can.
can just, yeah, the defenses are still up, the walls. This one's gonna be just 2 by one pretty simple. Now let's just finish the rest of them as well. So, oh, missed one. Two, three here, one here, one here as well. I'll work on that a little later. Okay, so this is what we're supposed to have so far. Okay, I just don't like how this looks, it just bothers my eyes. So let's just have three windows here. And then the other side just doesn't look right at all. It looks too empty, you know? So, two, yeah, one by one and one. With the two blocks separating each other, should be enough. That looks much better. So now let's just move on to stairs to make a roof. So to make a roof it's gonna be two blocks high. And then we'll just put the fences here and here. And then just proceed with our um, stairs. So yes, I was saying it should be, it's supposed to be two blocks high. And then we're gonna leave um, more space. We're gonna, once we're done connecting the stairs, we're gonna leave um, three blocks. Actually no, we're gonna make one more layer of stairs on the left side of the house. And then just uh, make a almost full circle. We're gonna leave only three blocks of uh, space for cobblestone because this is where we're gonna build um, fences. Not not the fences, but the furnace. My bad. Furnace chimney. Yeah, it's gonna be the chimney. So let's just put blocks here and here. Make it higher. And for now we can just, yeah, put blocks here to make it look like it's uh, being supported by something. And then put the stairs here. Actually, now it will look better with the um, slabs. So yeah, just like this. So let's just uh, put the steps here, uh, change time to daytime, and then we can just proceed with our uh, uh, stairs. So it's gonna be, uh, it's gonna take two more layers of stairs to finish up the roof. And just uh, keep making, the, um, filling up the square. So that's what's supposed to look like. Furnace, chimney, keep mixing up these words up, I don't know why. Yeah, then just uh, do last layer of the roof. I mean, if you want to, I guess you can just keep building up, but I think it's better if um, the chimney is going to be higher than the roof, I guess. But it's whatever. And then the, so that's what it was supposed to look like. And we can just uh, fill up the duct with this, um, the roof with slabs or just with the oak wood uh, planks it doesn't really matter plank slabs won't play a difference in this build at least so let's just build this here and then make the chimney higher so three by two more blocks and then the top with um, stone with more cobblestone. Okay, that look that's big but not big enough. So let's just put another layer. So let me see what it looks like right now. Um, doesn't doesn't seem like it's enough. So let's just build break the bottom layer. Okay, that looks better now. So once we're done with that, we can let's like, just fix this door real quick because I don't want it to be. I want it to be like flat, like so, and then just this area we can just fill in with bookshelves. So let's just get them real quick, and then fill up the void. Once we're finished with that, we can go to the tiny room and then make a stairs to go upstairs. So let's just. Keep on making our way up. 
and we're gonna make it like in a spiral way not just like one way up because that, that room is not big enough for for it to go straight up something's holding me and once you're done with the stairs whoops I just uh, finish up with this uh, um, chimney real quick let's just get our cupboard back and then just fill this up I'm not gonna do the same thing on the first floor because it's, it's obvious what you're gonna do just uh, do the same thing down there and let's just break these windows because we don't need them so keep filling this up and uh, once you finish oh, okay let's just break this cobblestone we can move on to the working area of the blacksmith so let's just get the cobblestone stairs and make uh, like a little well for the lava pool because you know it's a blacksmith he needs his uh, fire whatever to make his uh, tools so let's just get this lava bucket and fill it up and just be careful not to place the well too close to the house otherwise it's going to be set on fire by the lava and then just get the grindstone and the stone cutter real quick to make the workplace look more professional and that's it thank you guys for watching the video please like and subscribe and stay tuned for more